have a great show for you here tonight. Oh, and is it the black guy? Yes. Our houseman, oh. old gods of Asgard, is oh, here. Fuck. Away, you crazy Vikings. Is I in a talk show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Hey. It's a famous Come black on. guy. On, sit down, sit down, I, sit down. He's Martian Manhunter <laughs> in CW. <Ooh. laughs> oh man, it is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Being so old? Does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. We do have that, by the way. Uh, well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, we love Alex I Casey. I we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? Well, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Mm -hmm. uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? What the fuck? How do you know that? That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. He's... Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? I don't know, actually. Are all in your story, Alan? Honestly? Yes. Wow. Messiah. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as oh, your dear, best selling mother. Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. <laughs> expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <gasps> now someone give me a Hello? gun. Sorry. 
I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. Yeah, I forget. Alex is... Alice? Alice. Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. Oh. This felt like a bad dream. Is this Could kind of... a good horror story. Is this the oldest house? Even if I can't be Jesse, but, you know, just let me be the oldest house. Input fucking code. What in the magical hell? I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Hey. Mr. Darling. He also voices out in the wake, apparently. Old gods of Ga Oh my god, the old niggas are here. Oh my goodness. Old gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. You know them. Relax. It's the old men. They're not the old men anymore. They're young as hell. Okay, never mind. It's important. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Don't say things like that, bro. I know you're the writer, but I'm the player. <laughs> I'm the person who's guiding you. No, nope. stay away. Stay away from me. Oh shit. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. So are we awake? A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. So this entire time, I've been writing to escape. He does look like Wick. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Again. Thank you, thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is oh, here. Oh shit. Tonight. That's right. Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen, the actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here, the best-selling writer of the books, the films. Are based off. Let's do this. I want to see this actually. So does Alice Casey the sit with us? So, Alan. Yes. As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? What? Him? His face? Sorry, what? But I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you. But I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? 
If I fuck up his he life, yeah, exactly sure. Like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. Oh, well, you're not even I'm American. A huge fan you of gotta the be books. a good actor. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know, I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, hmm. in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. So we all saw that That's like great. that. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing meta. more. Wait, Why is he doing stop. this face to me? What was that about a writer? About a lamp? So is the black man Mr. Door? Because I do remember you talking about him like that too. I think the same thing happens to me. Again. Never mind. Hello? Casey? Ati? Ati! Ah, Lord Aid. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> Still speaking that good bullshit, huh? You. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but... You can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of a man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egane. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Thank you. All right, Ati. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, for I He's had to trust the basement nice. would get me out of here. I like Ati. He's also part of control. I'm glad this is also becoming control. Also, all they need to add is Jess. Please don't make me fire either. I I don't think I don't think we're well equipped at all. Okay. So this is the door I couldn't open, right? Okay, Ati, you're loud. Shut up. So this might be the oldest house. The oldest house is like a weird uh the building doesn't look the building isn't that big, but once you get inside of it it's 
massive. Like, I forgot what that place is or what it's called. But this is what the oldest house is based upon. But I don't think we're in here. But I don't know. Ati's here. Why, why would Ati be here if this is not the air? This is not the oldest house. I mean, every, what you got? Oh, white. I don't know what you want me to do. An old lamp and a shoebox. Nigga. Was it's... this what the janitor had left for me? What the hell is that? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. An Oscar reward? Where the fuck did I pull a bag out of my ass? I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Oh. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Hold on. So this is like two worlds also. Oh, it is. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The right. light carved out something new from the darkness. Is it oop? I forgot what it is. No, is it oop? What the fuck? I, I read this shit earlier. Objects of power. That's what it is. An oop. An oop. Oop oop. I needed to find another way out. Okay, okay. So we can't go in here yet. Listen, bro. I want to make sure that y'all know that I know the lore. All right. Played the game twice, three times. And I also played Alan Wake. And I'm trying to make it a mutual understanding for you as well. So how the hell do I... Okay. Okay, now I have charge. Now I can. I think I checked everything. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, and the compass that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? Bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean, and a lake, that's not a lake. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello, hello. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alex, you still look listen like to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. Okay. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Huh. Convenient.
Okay. He doesn't sound like a familiar character at all. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Don't, thank you for proving me wrong. The I man had it. said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Do I have a gun? I don't have shit. I don't know, bro. I don't like this. Okay, I keep looking the wrong way. Look forward. Okay, we go down here. Is that it? Nope, I don't like that. I'm gonna get to the light. Oh shit! Darkness, my old friend! Please, get through the- The Caldera Street Station sign was there. But the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Okay. I'm scared. find a light for it oh I needed to suck off light okay yeah you're right all right well look like there's light over here illumination neighborhood illumination Hey, brother. I'm gonna just leave you alone. I don't know if y'all niggas actually can kill me. I know, I know you drown. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. Hello, Casey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake. The writer. I'm Alex Casey, looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Hey. Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. All right. When you go there to die because you don't got no backup, I don't want to hear shit. See, look, I told you. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'm good. I'm good. Do we have to go? I don't want to go over there. Casey! Sir, I just need light, okay? I just need to suck off the energy that's over there, please. I had to follow Casey. I needed that light. I remember dying in this alley in a dream I had. Oh, shit. He was just gonna keep killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. Oh, you're still speaking. Think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Is there photo mode? Fuck!
I'm sorry I fucked up your life again. To protect myself. I'll gladly take that off your hands. <laughs> this was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. He's gone. Okay, so we're... Uh... Shit. With the alley in darkness now, restless shadows block my way. Oh, y'all are walking towards me. Hey, fellas. I don't know how this light works. Oh, it did work. Let's leave. Hey, bro, back up, back up, back up. Thank you. Ooh, shit. Hey, bro, who do you think you are? Ooh, shit. faded out until they didn't they were trying to stop me with the gun with the shot, I could fight back well I wasted all of that shit again yep it is I'm out of light in both ways I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. Okay. Let's go up here. <sighs> okay, I know where I am now. Let me open this. All right. Huh? I don't like that. Suck them off. Let's go. Hurry up. Run away. We'll be there. Hey. Sorry. No. Can y'all touch me in here? Because all I want to do... Can I suck this off? I can. Beautiful. Okay, so do I have one more? Okay, I do have one more. All right, there's space. And... Right burn. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Well, I know. The door wouldn't open. That's what I'm trying to do, open. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. A line echo approaching from a specific angle. An FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing, presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. 
the ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Oh, um, so you write your storyboard in here. What the hell? Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Okay. Actually, let me look. So, all right, you're right. Oh, I see. So you add all these points and you have the story. What do we do? Follow the blood trail. Well, I don't like that. At the spiral. I don't like the fact there's a, a darkie down that call that corner, that hallway, that uh that wall. Sorry. Okay. Oh my fucking god. Shit. I don't like the sound of that. I didn't either. What the fuck is that? There was something hidden here. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? Okay, there we go. Words of acid. Increase hand towards area effect by 13%. Okay, so these are my upgrades. Increase effect, uh, increase effectiveness of trauma. Oh, uh, well, I'm about to go crazy. Words of action. You have more upgrades than what the <coughs> saga. Words of stuff. Okay, I understand. There's a lot to this fucking game. Well, what I hope is to get a better fucking uh, way of using the flashlight. I wish they kept the old ways of using it. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I had found another compelling location to use. changed the story and with that the dark place changed it's bad luck to be on this case the cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit let the day shift handle it what happened anyway some fed came looking for the cult but it was a trap a satanic blood sacrifice anyone who gets involved with the cult they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. I like that. Well, yeah, I like the way I was going. The story, the messiah, the lord. Hello. The blood trail disappeared under the rubble. I had a feeling something was waiting there. Something indeed is waiting there. Another echo lingered here, a source of inspiration. Okay, so these upgrades are all around. So they give you specific words for your item or whatever the fuck you're gonna be using. It's not a everything upgrade, I guess. Come on, come on, I had it. can help me ma'am what do you know there's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word the murder cult used these tunnels for their oh, the lady. sacrifices they say the cult reenacted the murders in alan wake's crime books that wake was even involved somehow under a what? false identity mr scratch which is of course 
a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. Hmm. I could be turned on and off with X. Of course. Uh, also, I want to say Mr. Scratch is my thumbnail for uh, the last episode, apparently. The water was gone. The way forward was open. Hey, bro, his item... What did I say? Cult of the Word. I like that. Uh, what was it? Uh, Alan Wake's item of, or object of power is pretty nice. But not powerful enough as Jesse's, of course. Someone was humming. No. Was it worth the risk to go see who? <sighs> I'm scared. <laughs> Why? I don't know. What was I saying? Beware of the dark. Hello. Oh, oh shit. Hey, Alan. Hello. You snuck up on me. Yeah, hello. Sorry. <laughs> Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making okay. a map. I need, I Trying need to. Them. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. No. Oh. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host?